Hi, I'm Roman from Roman Reporting and today we're at the Sty Fest 2017 and it's held at the Courtchester Royal Grammar School. And um, it says fun for all ages. Here and you tells you all the stuff you can do here. So you can pause the video and look at them. Ah! So, um, I think the robotics is happening with your okay. young brain, which is... Uh, something, Harley? Ah! Now you need to crack the mystery. So, do you know how you're going to do that? Um, how would you do that? Take your fingerprints. Yeah. Yes. Um. I guess you can use the microscope to look at the DNA. Have we got any plugs anywhere? Um, look at the DNA. Excellent. So you sound like you've cracked it already. What you need to do. So, so if you make your way to this lab here, some people in here will help you. Then if you go through that door over there, you'll come into the next lab. And then you come out and you go into this one. And then hopefully by the end, you know you did it. Alright, you up for the mission? Up to solve the challenge? Yeah. Excellent. Off you go. Have fun. That one. Which one do you think, Roma? That one. Oh. If you're sure, you can uh, write it on it. What's on this, this pencil here? Yeah, we really do a good job out there. Where? Where is it? What bit's this time in it? Um, microscope. Because wow. I wasn't really... Fiber analysis. So here we've got a sample of fiber from under the victim's fingernails. Oh. And then this brush. And then these are the So you have to look at them. <laughs> it's the fiber, so like the clothing. In the middle. Oh, okay. So you have to try and match that so one to one, so one of those ones, okay? Okay. Let's have a look. To give you an idea as to which one it might be. You see? Uh-huh. Yeah, and then you look at the other three and see if you can find the match. Yeah, it's definitely not that one. He's going, I'm not giving any of the right. Not that one. No. Okay. Um, suspect number two again. Oh, okay. You need a pencil to write it down. Right, no. no. It's done with the chromatography on it. And it separates out all the colours. And what we've got is a pen of each of the suspects. And we can use this to find which pen matches this and tell who wrote the note. So what we need to do is get one of these, and this is suspect three to ten, suspect two and suspect one, and make a dot on each one with the corresponding number, and then we're going to put it in the water and see which one broke the blood tank. Okay, so you've got one of the pens, suspect one, there's one of the doubles. On the cross. Oh. That's right. As long as they're around the same. Right, so let's go and find that. And now what we're going to do is put this over here so that this just about sits in the water and then fold it over just so it stays there. What we should see is as the water starts to move up the page, the ink will start to separate out and it should take a few minutes. Just keep following the arrows. Oh, it's done. You can see which one you think is closest to this. So far, I think it's two. Yeah, I think it's number three. Oh, well, so we'll find out in a minute. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, because that one starts off yellow. Mm -hmm. That starts off pink. That one starts off orange. Uh, I think Amy's with a friend. Yeah, so it starts yeah. with pink. I think number two's up. Oh, okay, I think she's again. She's just met well, with a friend. Suspect again. Do you know where Sam is? I'm guessing he might be a Kenzie. Okay. Do you want to run it down? I'll have to touch there. Mm -hmm. It's gas. Is it that one? It's one of the... Oh, what? It's off. Ah. No, okay. No. And this is the handwriting. Huh? So this is says, Hi Queen, meet me at Cypress tomorrow. I think it says, Hi Ivan. Ivan. So we need, so we need to look at the letters and see if any of the letters match the type of writing. So we the words can we see? Well, I'm looking for an H. Is there an H anywhere? That's the place to pass my comment. Is that alright? Do you want to? Do you want some? Do you want some comments? <laughs> right, uh, basically, we've got three samples here. And we're going to find out which ones are blood and which ones are just stains. So, we just get these three here. These are our three samples. And we're going to add this, which is hydrogen peroxide to it. And I don't know if you can see here, but it contains, blood contains an enzyme, which is called catalase. And that will react with this. And so, oh well, to produce water and oxygen. And so we can have a look and see if this reacts because it will decolorize it and fizz. So if you see that, you see that's gone white? Do you see that? So it can be suspect one, you can keep that in. And then if you do the same thing for suspect two, you can't see that as well. Oh, there's too much. You see, that's actually gone white as well. Yeah, that's good. So it could be suspect two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're thinking it's suspect two as well. Okay. And so, if you do it on the last one here, you can see that. But that actually hasn't changed at all. Hasn't changed, yeah. So you know, these two are actually blood samples, and this one isn't. So you can say it's either suspect one or suspect two, and you can rule out suspect three altogether. Yep. Yeah. I think it's suspect two. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to... So on this part of the analysis, you, it could be one or two, couldn't it? Yep. Yeah. Well, you're going to go on to DNA now to have a look at that to see, and that's going to narrow it down to either one or two. And then you're going to go on to the footprint analysis to work out who it is. There we go. Thank you, so you. Just pop your goggles back. Wait, where is it? Thank you. Um, and there's some blood on the suspect yeah. one and two's clothes. So we sent those to the forensics lab. And we got some images of the DNA. So you need to match the bands on this one or this one to this one. Oh wait, it's that one and that one. Yeah, yeah this one. So you write that to the passport. I think it's spelling out the You're filling out the passports. Suspect onto the sand. And then you see if this matches up with this. So this is from the crime scene. And this is, you know, these shoes. The suspects are on little tags, so you can see which which suspect is which. So this one's two, this one's one, and this one's three. I think we're going to go with Oh, you need to clear the sand first, darling, so you get a true footprint. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's quick. That's quick, isn't it? Use a real one. That's a surprise. Yeah. Because I'll say so on the ground. I'll move on the tour while I see it. I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> Why is that? Because, because it's two, the Daddy. There. Yeah, the lines there. It's okay, so let's have a look at the ones there. Make sure what you think. Right. That's not it. That's not right. Yeah, completely different now. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the last one. Let's be sure. Got it? No, that's not the same either. So it's okay. suspect two then? Mm -hmm. Suspect two, yeah. Yeah. So then Do you see the little lines on the bottom of the black and black line? Yeah. Turn these and the bottom line. I need a little bit of it. Yeah. 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 And then turn them flat again. So now, 
you put it under here, and we turn on the oil. And what you see is that the oil and the water don't mix. Because oil is what we call hydrophobic, which means that it's scared of bonding with the water. Yeah, yeah. You've been saying that Have you? Yeah, you do. it's pretty cool. And then, we'll just get one of these tablets here, which I think is just a vitamin C tablet, and we we'll drop it in. And when you notice after a few moments, the little bubbles start rising. And that is the gas from the tablet lifting the coloured water upwards. And then if you wait even longer, they'll start dropping again. You have your own little love lamp. A bulb work, shall we? How do you think we can make that bulb work? Right. Okay, do you want to do that? So we'll give you two wires. And there's a red and a black, and you've got a red hole and a black hole. So put one in each. One in each. Okay. And now we need one of you to get one of these and try and hold it onto one end of the battery. Can you do that? Can you do that? So if I hold the battery so it doesn't go anywhere, can you, you touch that again? Yeah. And the other one, you touch can you touch you the touch other end? The battery. Whoa, look! Okay, so we're making our bowl, come on. Okay. Right, now. What do we need, in, what do we have in our house to make our lips to come on and off? A switch! Right, so we've got a switch here, so we, we plug one end of our wire into the switch. Yeah, and we're going to plug the other end here. So now, you're the switch operator, okay? So you need to get... You need to touch your there, and you put your contact back into there. And now, see if you can flip the switch. That's it. Keep it there. And then you can turn your switch off. Right, off. And then on. Oh, it's, it's a lot of teamwork, isn't it? <laughs> How much teamwork to light a switch? Four. Four. And what happens is, when you put them in water, these are getting a bit warm now, but one of them will be brighter than the other because it's taking the energy of the water as a chemical reaction. So which one do you think is the warmer? No, funny enough, you know, it is that one. It's not, it's not, it's not very, I'm losing a bit of temperature in there now. But you, what you can do is you can put it round the other way and it does make it a bit easier sometimes when you put a bit of card on the back. And then you can see them. And the, and the last part, do you know the last part this experiment is? You get to take a bracelet with you. There we go. Make sure you don't put them in your mouth, because one thing with these is there's, uh, there's chemical inside these. Uh. Okay, so I just came back from the um, side fest and it was absolutely amazing. And we only spent about two or four pounds, so you don't need that much money on you. And pretty much all this stuff was free. And we went to this robot show, which was quite cool. And it had a few robots that they made. And there's just a normal wheelchair, and it turned into a robot. It's like, if you look left, then move left. If you look forward, then go forward. If you look down, it would stop. And also, if you could speak properly, you could say forwards, stop, backwards, and that stuff. And um, you can also use the joystick which was quite cool and um, there was these robots that were quite cool they were command they were programmed to say stuff and move about and it had sensor on its head and a sensor on its chest and it moved a lot 
and then there's another one um where when you do this it goes fast and you make it smaller it goes slow and if you open your legs up it um the lifter will go up and then when you close it will go down and that was quite and that was cool as well and then at the end of the show we um got to look at the robots and play with them for a little while and um we also had this murder mystery case and um it's really fun and we also got to make our own smoothies we made um strawberry and banana so i i was the person that cycled because you can make bike powered smoothies so you have to cycle on the bike and then the blender will be on top and then the faster you cycle the faster it will spin round and then you can make your own smoothie but, and that was a really nice choice and um we also went to the um zoo experience um it's like about criminals that have been like taking killing animals and taking their skin and wearing it as coats and putting snake skin for purses and scarves and stuff and that was well, kind of cool and um did lots of stuff and it was really fun if they do it next year um i would recommend going please give us comments down below please subscribe put the thumbs down button in the bin